Hey, hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, we're going to talk about the uh, brand new MATLAB Home Edition uh, that uh, has been released. It looks like around May, to, uh, sorry, March 2014. I've been hearing about it through the grapevine for the last little couple of months. Uh, and uh, let's talk about uh, what we can uh, do, how to use it, and uh, what I would recommend uh, if you're following my path. Now, um, I don't even know why I have this here. Ah, oh well. <laughs> okay, so if you come under, do a Google for products for MATLAB Home Release 2014A. This is what I'm looking at. For 150 bucks, you get the basic edition. Well, let me just show you uh, what we're talking about here. It's only for personal use, not for academic, not for government, not for uh, commercial or other organizational use, okay? So, if you're gonna use it, obviously you use it for your own testing. Now, for those that have been following me for even a day, for a couple of years now, it's been three and a half years, I have looked at a lot of these toolboxes. So the base edition, of course, uh, is $149, now US. Um, and uh, oh, there's all these toolboxes which I've looked at. A lot of them are very useful for prototyping and things like um, researching and stuff. But if you look through these set of toolboxes, there is no ability to extend MATLAB. You gotta get the production release. And how much is that gonna run you? Well, you better be sitting down for the prices. So if you got the standard here, um, yeah, uh, you might want to uh, kind of be prepared. It's not as cheap as this. So anyways, let's focus on the home edition. So we have the Mate MATLAB edition, $149, yay. Now, as I said, with this new workflow I'm looking at, honestly, I don't think you need any of these toolboxes except for a few. They'll run you no more than 300 bucks, maybe Tops 400 bucks. So let's. What are they? Um, the first one is uh, the symbolic math toolbox. Okay. Um, now uh, that is for your mu pad. Okay. Now um, that's toolbox number one. Now the other toolbox that will be needed, uh, or not really needed. It's more uh, simulink. Uh, let's talk. Simulink. Uh, where are you? There you go. Simulink. State flow. Probably some events. I've never played with some events, but um, these are just some optional stuff. I don't know if you really need any of this. It's more electronic, uh, physical modeling. I, I've tried Simscape. I haven't really looked into any of this stuff yet. Um, but uh, that is Simulink because my plan is with the workflow, I've put up a video on it on YouTube. Uh, you use the um, mu pad, you generate your equation that you're focusing on within mu pad, the language, convert it into uh, a custom M function, and then from there you can implement it into Simulink. Obviously, through this, and then using state flow and whatever else I've, I've yet to be determined of. Um, what's needed. Definitely state flow simulant, okay? And as you can see, these are all $45 a piece. It's not too badly priced, okay? Now, uh, just on the top of my head here, I have just come across these um, uh, these toolboxes. Of course, because there's statistics and optimization and math, I do believe you'll need this one, partial dif differential equation. Definitely in the statistics toolbox. Maybe the curve fitting, um, and uh, some of these I'm not sure of as I'm going through the Khan Academy to figure out what is needed. But again, they're all $45 a pop, okay? It's just not too steep. Now here's the thing. You're probably asking, why am I not doing this computational finance stuff? Financial toolbox, econometrics, financial instruments trading toolbox. The reason I do not recommend these um, is uh, over the years when I started using these toolboxes, um, 
they kind of make you a lazy uh, developer because you start to really rely on some of these toolbox, for instance, pairs trading. Uh, you'll use something like the Engel Granger or the uh, Johansson um, functions from here, or, or one of these two. Uh, and it can make you a very lazy developer. Um, so that's why I'm more focusing on the pure, pure math uh, with the mu pad, with all these others. Now again, with the mu pad, it might not be the most wisest, but to get uh, rapid uh, model development, and, and especially visually, that's where the Simulink comes in, nice and handy, and there at some point, you will want to co-generate that, um, but uh, you will be able to bang out uh, your C or C++ using the Simulink coder, but as you can see, it's not listed here. So what are your options? Hmm, I don't know. All right, so um, that's how it sits, okay? Um, so again, just for building your models, uh, I would definitely go with MATLAB. Um, the uh, again symbolic math toolbox, uh, Simulink and state flow. Don't quote me yet on it. All these other ones are fine and dandy uh, for the computational finance. Um, you know another option maybe uh, database toolbox or the uh, Simulink link ex to uh, link into. Excel, I played with that, that's quite good. Um, so there's some really interesting things you could do. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, uh, if you got any comments, let me know uh, on the video or the blog post. I'll do my best to help you out. But this is a new breakthrough for those that say they cannot afford MATLAB. Here's your opportunity, $149 and probably, I already said earlier, maybe a couple hundred bucks. But um, I think in here, uh, one person said if they wanted to get all the toolboxes they needed, uh, you would be spending about $700, somewhere in here. But I'll put all these links in here, yeah, 600 bucks or, so, or something, I don't know what they're using it for, but that sounds about right. I mean, from what I've seen with um, MATLAB, or sorry, Ernie Chan, no more than 1000 bucks, but, it, you know, for testing and stuff, it's kind of cool. And I just thought I'd put that out there for you. Talk to you later.